it's very lux like it's very luxurious and expensive hi my darlings welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be some of my favorite products that i really loved in 2019 like these are the products that really stood out for me in 2019 i'm just going to go through it quickly uh, i'm doing everything so it's cutting up for makeup skincare perfume hair care yeah that's about it i'm going to start with hair because that's really quick perfume skincare and then i'll end with makeup so the first thing i'm going to talk about is my conditioner and shampoo as you guys may or may not know i have short hair like i've cut my hair i have a teeny weeny afro <laughs> which i really like like because i mean it's very versatile like can i go out to my short hair or i can go out to my wig i can get my hair braided the main products that i use that well i used last year was a shea moisture restorator was a shea moisture raw shea butter moisture retention shampoo that is a mouthful and then the shea moisture raw shea butter restorative conditioner so I use both of these. My routine is pretty simple, like I don't do too much. I just wash my hair every day when my hair's out, but now I have them in cornrows. I wash it with a shampoo. And then I actually don't use the conditioner in the shower. So when I come out of the shower with my hair washed, I just dry it. And then I use this as a leave-in conditioner. And then <laughs> I add some more shea butter. So this one is from Noquari. It's the raw shea butter. So that's all I do to my hair and my hair is always so soft and it's grown so much like within I cut my hair I'll say November and we're already in January and I can already do cornrows so I guess I'm doing something right I mean my hair does grow pretty quickly like I have good hair but it was actually quite quick for my hair to grow like that so next up I'm going to talk about fragrances I love perfume so much so I just have some four that really stood out for me in 2019 that I really really loved the first one was a gifted purchase this sorry this one was gifted it wasn't gifted purchase it was just gifted this is a Killian fragrance by Killian and this is vodka on the rocks I really love this perfume I, I, I'm not like a perfume I can't break it down for you so I'll just tell you that I like it it's it's a it's a strong scent but it's not too manly but i don't know i just love it it really stays on you last all day i mean you really stand out like when you go anywhere everyone will be asking you perfume you're using and it really stands out and because i feel like most people who really know perfumes know the scent they can tell like what scent you're using and it's very luxe like it's very luxurious and expensive but this was a gift gift of purchase and i love it so much the next one is from Byredo. This one, um, I don't remember how I came across it, but I'm sure it's my husband. He loves perfumes. So this is in Black Saffron. I love the scent so much. It's very fresh but strong. The next one that's like almost like my everyday perfume that I really love. I've used this for years. I'm sure like most people use it. It's a Coco Chanel. It's a Coco Mademoiselle perfume from Chanel. This is the Eau de Parfum Intense. So this is really strong. I love using this perfume. It's very, um, how do I say it? It's just one of those perfumes that like, I feel like every woman should have. It's not, it's not your typical scent that's like fresh or floral. This is very, it's not league of its own. It's just a Chanel. Like when you use it, everyone is using a Chanel perfume and yeah, I love it. The last perfume is this one. This is Maison Francis. Kirk Jean something Baccarat Baccarat so this is it this one too is really nice so this is like a sweet oud perfume it's a fantastic perfume so next I'm going to talk about skincare this is a few more like this is a lot more products the first one is the simple micellar cleansing water so this one is very gentle like it's very gentle on my skin it takes off my makeup I don't need to rub too much like I literally just put like a few drops on on cotton pad and just wipe my makeup off the next one is these two gems that i got from pixie beauty like they're just two like main stores that i like to recommend for makeup because like i'm not going to recommend something i haven't tried and tested so it's driven house of beauty and centopia driven house of beauty does delivery i mean just go on their instagram page their customer service is impeccable like just tell them what you want and find out what they have i mean 
but like they're just well, like one of the best places that I recommend to shop for makeup products them and Centopia so yeah as I was saying so these products from Pixie Beauty Pixie Beauty is very popular it's one of those mid-range priced um, products really really good with skincare um, yeah so this is a retinol tonic and then this is a glow tonic the glow tonic is like an exfoliating toner so this is retinol and jasmine flower these they're both really gentle to be fair on my skin um to be honest i use them interchangeably like if i use one at night i use one during the day and vice versa whatever um but what i've noticed is like it has actually made a big difference in how my skin looks and feels um right now i have congestion on my forehead because that time of the month but on a, like a normal day, like a normal day, my skin has actually really improved with using these products. I always fail to like show you guys my before and after. I think I've just stopped doing that because, like, that pre I I keep mixing products, so I don't know what exactly stands out. But I feel like adding these two tonics or toners to my skincare routine has made a really big difference in my skincare routine i really like using them i have to get a new one of this but these two are really really good i really love them still going to use them in 2020 <laughs> so the next product i'm going to be talking about is my cleanser i've i've moved away from like i used to use clinic um anti-blemish cleanser but i think like my skin got to a point where i felt like i didn't need to use an anti-blemish cleanser anymore and I wanted to add like a few more organic products to my my skincare routine because I use it every day and I need more conscious of like the things that I put on my skin. So I decided to go back and try black soap. I know I've, I've probably mentioned on this channel that I never used to like black soap because I, I wasn't really sure like the intensity of the ingredients and stuff like that. But I tried it because I got gifted one and I tried it and I've never looked back like since then. So I've um this one is from r and &R. I used to have the big bottle, I've run out, I have this, the, this is a travel sample size, travel size. So this is a liquid black soap. So, so the liquid black soap has sheer moisture, sheer butter. <laughs> it has got sheer butter in it. So when you use a black soap, it doesn't dry your skin like previously, like the black soaps that were in the market that were really, really drying. This is not drying at all. It has shea, shea butter in it so like you don't you lose a lot of moisture when you wash your skin with this so i use this morning and night next product still in the iron family that i have grown to like like i never ever thought like these things like i just start using them randomly and i realized that oh like why haven't i used this thing all this well so this is the baobab oil i used like I think the majority of 2019 to be fair for my night just for my nighttime skincare routine i decided to add oils to my skincare routine and yeah i think it has made like such a big difference in how my skin looks and feels i use this every night and so i use it after i have applied serum so it just just locks in everything because i sleep in, in an air conditioner room every night air conditioner is really really dehydrating to the skin so when you have an oil um protecting your skin so the moisture doesn't like moisture isn't drawn out of the skin it's perfect i feel like i'll have to do this and i like, do like a, a makeup one because i feel like this is a lot it's a lot of products <laughs> the next one is okay let me just fix this next one is the estee Lauder advanced nice repair serum so this i introduced into my kids like mid 2019 and I use it just at night. The Synchronized Recovery Complex. Oh my gosh, like this serum does like wonders for your skin. Like whenever I wake up, my skin feels so soft, so fresh. I know it's because of the combination of the products I use at night. And this one has really stood out for me. It's just improved the texture and the feel of my skin. The next one I'm going to talk about are my daytime moisturizers and serum. So the serum that I use for daytime is the pore minimizing skin refinisher so this when i use this i use it after i've toned my skin in the morning and like it just makes my skin so soft like all my pores are gone <laughs> when i use this it's like a pore refinisher oh my gosh like my skin's feel my skin feels so smooth this one is from estee Lauder as well so for moisturizer because i use retinol a lot like because of toners that I use and like I mean in general like 
I don't have a, a choice. Like I have, to wear, I have to wear SPF moisturizer. Come with me, <laughs> because of where I live. Like the sun is out 24 hours. <laughs> no, actually, that's a lie. The sun is always out, and even when it's cloudy, the rays of the sun is penetrating your skin. <laughs> So like, I always use moisturizer. I can't compromise on the moisturizer that I use. It always has to have SPF. So this one is from Clinique. It's a super defense um, moisturizer with SPF. And this one is from Estee Lauder. It's a 24 hour moisture cream, oil free with SPF. So I, I use these things, these moisturizers interchangeably. I feel like they are pretty much the same. So yeah, I use them like whichever one is closest to me, I use them. Oh, and this, like I started using, I started incorporating this like towards the end of the year. I started incorporating it into my skin because I realized my skin was getting really dehydrated. I wasn't, I was drinking water, but I don't think I was drinking enough. I think especially because like I'm always using an air conditioned car. When I come home, air conditioned, I work air conditioned. Air conditioned really, really dehydrates your skin. So I decided to include this into my routine. Especially my morning routine. It's a it's a it's a clinic dramatically different hydrating jelly. So what I do is after I've used my serum, I apply this before moisturizer. I, I think this has made a difference because like my I don't have like the dehydration lines have reduced greatly. So I think that is it for skincare. I don't know if I should add makeup to this, but I think this will be really long. A few moments later. I'm going to add makeup to it. <laughs> so with makeup, I'm not going to talk too much about it because you guys see me use my makeup all the time. But I'm going to start from the base. So with the bases, the products I've really loved is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Primer, which is really mattifying. I love it so much. Like when I have to go like for a long event or anything, I'll reach out for, I'll, I usually mix this, put this in my T-zone area. And then the NARS Smooth and Protect Primer, which I love so much, it's also a mattifying primer. But it's really, it's hydrate it's it's hydrating at the same time. Like it doesn't make my skin like super matte. But I love this so much. I always combine this with this, or I can use this by itself. I never use this by itself. The next product I'm going to talk about, still on basis, is foundation. So the three foundations that I've come to like, <laughs> and these were okay. One I just found, and then two I was gifted. This one I was gifted is a synchro. Skin self refreshing foundation. It also has SPF in it. It's also oil free. So it's oil. So it's oily girl friendly. <laughs> That's why I love it. Um, the coverage is not that like it's not a really really full coverage, but it's buildable. And the finish is matte, obviously, because it's oil free. I love this so much. I wear it during the day a lot because it's not too heavy. Um, the next foundation is the Dior Forever Foundation. You guys definitely know this. I came into the Dior family, hey. <laughs> so I got into the Dior family, like, and like I'm not disappointed at all. I love the Dior Forever and then the Dior Face and Body Foundation. I, I discovered this one first just by a random chance. I just went shopping and I bought this one, and I loved it. So I use the shade Seven N. This is also a nice medium to full coverage, also mattifying. This also full coverage, medium to full, I believe. And it's also um 24 hour wear. It's really nice. I, I think uh, yeah, I'm using that on my face right now. I really really love these foundations. These are the ones that really stood out for me in 2019, and I'm definitely using them in 2020. Hey <laughs> for concealers, one is high oh sorry, one is high end and then one is drugstore. This is the makeup revolution conceal and define um concealer. I use a shade 13. I love this. This concealer so much it's really it's full coverage um when you use it, it's not going to move like and it's not like wait i shouldn't say that when you use it it's really mattifying it stays in place but it's still blendable and yeah i use this under my eye um to clean up under my brow i even use it as a concealer for my eyelid before i use my um eyeshadow <laughs> i'm getting tired can you guys tell the next one is the Shiseido Concealer. This one's a really love. I was gifted this one. It blends in really well with my skin. I think because it's my, it's almost my skin tone. I like how like flawless it makes my, my makeup look. Like when I don't want to do too much, but I want to make sure I conceal like my under eyes and dark spots and stuff. This is perfect for me. And then 
my favorite pencils that I came across, they are, I think it's high end. They're not cheap though, like 18 or 19 pounds. Is a uh, precisely my brow pencil from Benefits. These pencils are everything. Like they are so thin, you get like precise strokes. I have the precisely my brow pencil and then the goof proof brow pencil. This is a bit thicker than this one. But they're all amazing, like it hurts me when it gets finished because they're expensive, but they're really good. And then the eyeliner that I go for all the time from SO Aesthetics is a Ghanaian owned brand. Love their products. Some of the best products I think are on the market, honestly. They have like really, really, really good products. I got this lip gloss from there. I have more lip glosses, but they make the best lip glosses. Like, oh my gosh, like the lip glosses are really cute. The last products I'm going to talk about are my eyelashes. The eyelashes that I'm wearing, it's not like she has a big brand of it or anything, but they are literally the best eyelashes. Like they're super natural and very wispy. Yeah, so that is it for the products that I, I think I covered almost everything but obviously because I'm using a lot of the products for my tutorials you guys will get to know more of the products that I missed but I think I covered everything that really stood out for me in 2019 these are a lot of products to go through but yeah if you guys have used any of these and you really like them let me know them let me know in the comment section below Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Like, I'm back. Your girl is back. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.